Tonight, Tulsa police say a man is dead after a tunnel he was building collapsed on itself. Thank you for joining us this Sunday night. I'm Chin Doan. The investigation started this morning near 56th and Riverside. News on 6's Caitlin Deggs has details from investigators. Caitlin? Chin, officers say the man was digging for copper wire, and when he found some, he continued to trace it back to the source. But the embankment collapsed, and he was found dead. Tulsa police and firefighters were called to the scene after the victim's girlfriend says she hadn't heard from him in a few days. Back on Thursday, her and her boyfriend had had uh, some kind of argument and he had left to come down here to the river. Um, he had apparently been digging a hole uh, downward a little bit and then horizontally kind of towards Riverside behind us. When the victim's girlfriend went to look for him last night and saw the tunnel was gone, she called police. Once the excavator got here, probably around three hours worth of digging, um, located what we believe to be uh, a shoe, um, moved some more dirt, and they were able to slowly uh, dig around and, and find the entirety of the victim's body. Police say Andrew Ferris was digging for copper wire and had found some. They believe he was tracing the copper wire back to find more. This gentleman had been digging quite a hole. I mean, if you picture like a mining shaft, he had the beginning of one of those going, but with nothing shoring it up. Um, and, and the sand just collapsed. Police say even though this doesn't happen often, they hope other people will be careful when it comes to digging. It is rare. Um, I've been here 16 years, and that's the first one I've seen. But um, all along the river here, it's, it's very loose sand. Um, the river constantly is wanting to wash into the bank and make these cliffs that like to collapse. And now the body is at the medical examiner's office where they will perform the autopsy. Caitlin Deggs, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.